Now, ladies and gentlemen, my precious in the Lord, this is God who has chosen a man. And God is a communing with the man. God is speaking to the man. And God is positioning the man, is strengthening the man, give him the right formula and strengthening him through his promises. After the man has received, has received, has received, has received, and received. Verse 10. The man begins to speak. And the man is speaking to other men. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, stop there. You can only say after you heard. A prophet that does not hear will mess you up with his views and opinions. The desire you always have to have is load, download. Give me your mind. Yes. For your output can only be effective as your input. While you enjoy dishing it out, focus in receiving. When Joshua was speaking to the officers, his authority was based on what he got from God. And therefore, what he was giving them was the word of God, the instruction of God, worthy to act upon. You should bless God. He gave them a word. Read it again. Verse 11. Four. One, two, three. Pass through the camp and command the people saying, Prepare provisions for yourself. For the three days you will cross over the Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. Verse 12. And to the Reubenites and the Gadites, the half of the tribe of Manasseh, Joshua spoke, saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God is giving you rest and is giving you this land. Mm -hmm. Save it. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on the side of the Jordan. But you shall pass before your brethren armed, all your mighty men of valor, and help them until the Lord has given you your brethren rest as he gave you, and they also have taken possession of the land which the Lord your God is giving them. Then you shall return to the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on the side of the Jordan toward the sunrise. It's passing the word with accuracy and you will note one thing he kept on referring to moses 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 where are you getting everything you say god is a covenant keeping yes god. even when prophetically speaking to you his foundation is the covenant moses in one chapter moses has been mentioned by god by joshua to the people countless times you can't have a full day conversation about anointing about the prophetic about your destiny about your call without mentioning your cover Elf local. <laughs> right biblically it shows us something has no root 
You have no root. For if you were not superficial, you will understand that how it works. That's why you hear me speak about Jacques André Vernon. Some of you do not know even how to pronounce Sadhu Sundar Singh, but you're trying, you're trying. I appreciate the fact that you try Sadhu Sudukuzu, but you are trying because your father speaks of his reference. Very quickly, God spoke to Joshua. Joshua spoke to the officers and they replied to him. Verse 16, hear this. So they answered Joshua, saying, All that you commanded us, we will we, do. We will do. We will do. Wherever you send us, we will go. Is there anybody who's answering the call of God through his servant and say, whatever you command us this year, we, we will, will do. do. Wherever you send us, we, we will, will go. go. Yes, I will save. A disciple does this. As a disciple, God spoke to us the code of this year. He said, connect to the altar. Follow the prophetic. Whatever you command us, we will do. Obedience. Mm. Wherever you send us, we, we will go. go. They're not speaking to God. They're speaking to the one God is using. The one God has chosen. The one who's leading. This year, follow what your altar will tell you. Yes. I play with you. I want you to understand that this is to help you and to help the vision of God. If God says this is what we do, don't go left, right, and center. Yes. You cannot be a disciple and do things according to inspiration. Which inspiration? Your inspiration is embedded in what God is saying, in submission. This is the direction. You do things that doesn't represent this altar. Where they say do not lay hands, you lay hands. Where we say lay hands, you don't lay hands. When they say come to church, you don't come. A disciple must hear, yes. live in obedience. Every disciple in AMI, hear this. This should be your answer. All that you command us, we will do. And wherever you send us, we will go. Mm. When you do this, you fall in the line of authority. Right. The centurion men say, I'm a man under authority. I say to one, go, he goes. To another, come, he comes. It's a spiritual law. Do you know the implication of receiving an instruction from God and deciding either not to do it or to do something else? It's a stain in your spiritual life. Last. In God, in the context of God, obedience does not break you. It doesn't destroy you. Don't leave. It's me. I have ideas. In the kingdom of God, all of us, I live in submission. I hear and I say, I told us fast for 40 days. I'm not fasting for 40 days. I say, break your fast this way. I am not necessarily breaking my fast like you. There are times where I just want to be with my family. There are times where I just want to just relax. I live in obedience. I live in submission. Right. Some of us do not have a life anymore. We are literally what Paul say, I died in Christ. If I live, it's no longer I who lives. It is Christ who lives in me. Amen. So when you are expected to do something this year, commit to do it. It doesn't cost you much to attend that home cell to call that person, to come to church, to do this, to God ask you to do this because he knows what he will give you. Amen. Every time you obey God, you become bigger. I receive Spiritually. it. Spiritually. I receive it. 
we carry on. Just as we heeded Moses in all things, now they're speaking. As we followed Moses in all things, these are people who started long time ago to follow. Right. In all things. So we will heed you. Mm. You know, you always see me with my son, the general. General Wiseman Gabriel Magasela. We worked a long walk. A long walk together. We fasted many 40 days together. We gave many seeds to God together. Mm. My son has always been there. Glory to Jesus. And hear me. Being there, he does everything I tell him to do. And never did I see him regress in life. I keep on seeing him progressing. He's a big man. Big Glory man. to Jesus. Obeying God makes you better. I it makes you stronger. I don't recall one day, I said this before God. I don't recall one day I disobey my leader. I don't. I remember not agreeing fully. <laughs> but even when it was tough, because I always remember. Yes. Obey swiftly. Thank you, Jesus. Getting out of my way to fulfill God's command through his servant. I don't remember my hand lifted. One day, directly or indirectly, I disrespected or dishonored one who was above me. Mm. Never. No matter what. No matter what. To date. I do not know anyone out there fathers of in the body of Christ now I do not know anyone who has a, a direct problem with me because of my character no all of them develop a culture of obedience in such a way that you become an asset you become a tool. They call you three o'clock in the morning. Mm. Yes, you are there. Three o'clock in the morning. Yes, you are there. Some of you call you 9 p.m. Mm. Mm. But yet when they say, receive prosperity, I receive it. You miss it. <laughs> you missed it. There is a price to pay. Oh, Jesus. Verse 18. They say this, whoever rebels against your command and does not heed your words in all, not some, in all that you command him shall be put to death. Hey. <laughs> it's serious. And this is the people themselves, the officers. You know, in the AMI, we don't have these things, so now this group does not like leadership, and uh, this, uh, we don't have those things. We don't. And I thank God for that. There are places where division is so rooted, rooted, this group, we don't have that, and I thank God for that. Thank you, Jesus. Why? Because we live in love. We live as a family. We live connected to one another. Thank you, Jesus. And not me. But we do not permit that. We have seen people ejecting themselves because they cannot fit in. They feel like, a, well, they find a way out. And we say, bye. -o. <laughs> we will never miss a service because you left. Never. No, you're not that important. Never. No day of remembrance of you left. No, it never existed. <laughs> we carry on our lives as if you were never here. <laughs> ourselves just like them My they God. say we will not permit such a thing there are people 
who come they, they feel very important they they, they come and uh, no me i don't me, me rah, rah, rah. first naturally me god protects me because i don't like that and i don't hide that i'm very brutal i'm an apostle i'm very brutal naturally I can root somebody out of my altar right in the middle of speaking, preaching. I, 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 <laughs> there are certain things you do out there. Me, you know. When you look at this, you say, he's too anointed for this. Because I will deal with you in a way that uh, you forget your name. You go in there and say that, Granny! Ha! Ah, hey. <laughs> Do that in my house, do that with my cars, never on my altar. Thank you, Jesus. Never. You lie. You lie. <laughs> it carries on. They say, you be courageous. Now, read chapter 3. We have seen this man, chosen by God, hearing from God and passing it on to people. Now something happens that you and I need to hear and begin to pray. Chapter 3, verse 1. Joshua 3, verse 1. Then Joshua rose early in the morning and they set out from Acacia Grove and came to the Jordan. He and all the children of Israel and the Lord there before they crossed over. So it was after three days. Now, after three days, what happened? That the officers did what? Went through the camp. Who went through the camp? The officers. If you read chapter one, as we read, Joshua commanded them to go through the camp. And he told them what to tell the people. And here, we jump chapter two because there is operation. He sends two spies in Harb to spy the land and so forth. Now we're coming here. So it was after three days that the officers went through the camp. I need you to go through the camps. Please. Mm -hmm. God has anointed you to go through the camp. Every own cell must be alive. Amen. The word of God given to you must go through every structure. Every AMI 12 must receive this. The walking through the structure must be done by you. You are God's tool as an officer. You have to take it over. The officers went through the camp, verse 3, and they commanded the people. Who commanded the people? The officers. They got it from who? From Joshua. Who got it from God. I get it. I give it to you. Pass it to them. My AMI 12, my first generation, my officers. You get it, pass it to the rest. If you will stop it, you'll become the reason why the kingdom, the house, the vision will not be whole. They commanded the people saying, when you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God and the priest and the Levite bearing it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it to follow the ark somebody say follow the ark follow the ark this is what they went to say here god has promised our deliverance but we need to follow the ark when you see the ark just know it is your cue mm, mm. for the deliverance promise for the multiple front breakthrough yes. promise follow the, the ark, ark. The Ark of Covenant. Jesus. The Ark carrying the presence of God. Follow the Ark. What are you following? Mm. Don't come to church for you. Don't come to church for position. Don't come to church to show off. Don't come to church to rule. Jesus. 
Lord, Come to Jesus. serve. Hallelujah. And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God and the priest the Levite bearing it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it. Touch two people, say, Go after it. Go after it. Go after it. You want to succeed? Go after it. Go after it. Your covenant is critical. I receive it. Now, verse 4. Instruction in going after it. He said, yet, there shall be a space between you and it. About 2,000 cubits of measure. Do not come near it. Not too close. My bishops, come. My, my two bishops, come. Come, come, come. Come. Pastor JP, come. You guys are this side. Come. Dr. Lebo, come. Come. Please come here. I, I want to illustrate this. I want to illustrate this. The word of God. Now. The Bible said the priests are carrying the ark. Will you two come this side? You come be in front. Come this side. They are carrying the ark of covenant. And Joshua, you, you look like a good Joshua. <laughs> Speak to the officer and say, follow the ark. First part of the instruction. And as he's setting himself out to follow the ark, he comes with verse 4 and say, yet, not too fast. There shall be a space between you. Don't, don't just get too close to it. Yes. But I need to explain to you why. His instruction is, here is a Joshua represented by the officers. He is the one who heard God pass it to his people who represent him and spoke to those who are the people and said to the people, as you follow this, don't get too close. Follow it, but keep your distance for two reasons. He explained, he said, one, do not come near it that you may know the way by which you must go. Now, can you take a few steps, uh, uh, priest? Just a few steps going forward. He said, you follow them. You get your cue from them. You go after them. Keep on going. Keep on going. You, you follow them. Make sure that you do not go too fast. You do not also lag behind. Mm. Just, just, just follow them. The pace must be good. Uh, I'll stop there so I can speak a little bit. Thank you. He explained, he said, do not come near. Why? Because you need to have visibility. If you are too close, you may no longer see the ark. He said, you gotta keep it in sight. Mm, mm. So that you may know the way you should go. I told you, millions of people are here. 603,550 men of power who can handle weapons with women and children if all of them had to be closed some will be in front yes. some be, be this and it will no longer be clear who is leading who my goodness there is a place for your leader jesus don't mess up with it leave your leaders there do not come and cloud the leadership with friendship. Mm. No. Do not cloud it. Because you will no longer know who's leading who. Well. That's right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Is it that you may know the way by which you must go. Allow them. So you know, okay, these guys, these are the signal. 
This is a signal. Where to go, you go. You know one of the reasons why we have been taught, I was in the assemblies of God and that where I grew. We've been taught to pray for our pastors and our leaders. And the, the best way presented to us was, what happens in their lives is an indication of what is happening spiritually to you. If he's in tears, your life will never be blossoming right. in joy. When you see your leaders prospering, it is a cue for your prosperity. This is how it has been presented to us. So I remember we used to pray and say, Lord, take them there. Because you see, God will never trust anybody to lead his people where he himself has not reached. Amen. Meaning, God will always first invest in leadership to go forward. I can teach you how to pray. You will feel the drive to pray. You know why? Because I pray. That's right. I will teach you giving and you will find it easy to give. You know why? I'm a giver. You can tell people what you know. You can only give them what you have. Mm. Are you hearing me? Amen. I speak to you about commitment. You will feel drawn to commit. Why? Because I am a committed man. Amen. Right. Leadership has to be there. If you get as people too close, you will overcrowd it. So it's a space. You want to sit where your pastor sits. You want to say what he says. You, you also want to show up. You, you also want to be. You want to every two minutes high five. Hear me. <laughs> be careful. Your man of God, your woman of God, your leader is not your body. I receive it. The day you make him or her your body, just know familiarity will kill your blessing. That's right. Leave him or her where he is. I want to see a person, a head of state. And we said, I was with uh, John and so forth. We said, we, um, a great man, a great, great man, powerful man. We said, and he had a meeting. We came, we had no time. We're supposed to have very few minutes, like uh, 15, 20 minutes with him because of his agenda. And it was not a meeting plan. It was just like, okay, I'm still here. I'm supposed to travel. I didn't travel. And pastor is here. Can I see him? So we got there, set, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, hmm. 40 minutes. I realize that I hear, if I don't close this meeting, <laughs> no one will close it. I say, I got to go because you have a meeting. Oh, thank you very much. But coming out, there are certain people, they are high, very high, but they live as if they are low. Mm. But there are people who are not low, they are under. <laughs> hey. They are underground. <laughs> but they live as if they are high. You see them walking in church. This is my seat. When we bought this seat, were you here? I mean... And I thank God, I, I really, with great humility and great respect to, he could not close the meeting. Could not. Why? Because he understand and value the anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, this is God. He say, don't get too close, too familiar with your leadership, right? So that you may not be confused of direction. Yes. If you're too close, you will not know where to go. Right. That's the first reason. You, you may be blurry. You do not know who is your leader. Mm. Don't get too close. And the second reason is say, 
Because without them, you are lost. Mm. Why? Because you have not passed this way before. before. Meaning, in your system, there is no reference right. to where I'm taking you. The only guarantee to get there is the ark. Mm. Preserve the ark. Yes. Handle anything that has to do with the ark with care. Yes. Everybody stand up. Mm. Thank you, my bishop. You are the best bishops ever. Lift your Glory hands. Glory to Jesus. God has placed you as an officer. He speaks to one and passes the message to you. It requires obedience. It requires you to pass the message onto the people. Yes. The Lord has spoken that is doing something new in our ministry. Keep your hands up. We as the little sheep and me as your father set myself to the project of the Lord that I know this year will change everything about our ministry. I receive the outlook, the inside of our ministry. If you will take a picture of AMI now, in a cup of mouth, nothing will be the same. Not even the seat you are sitting on. Glory to Jesus. Nothing. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. God commissioned us to do something that we are all praying for. Is taking us where we have never been. Mm. Where is taking us is a better place than where we are. Thank you, Lord. Where is taking us is a place with greater honor to Him and to us. Mm. But it requires all of us in discipline and complete dedication to do what He's calling us to do. My precious in the Lord. It is time that you identify yourself in the work of God through work, not through position. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are chosen by God. You are here. You are listening. You are chosen by God. I receive it. Forget your shortfalls. Forget how good or bad you are, as you are, he has called you. As you are, he chose you. You have a place, you have a role to play. Lift your head and commit yourself to God. Mm. Oh. Lift your head and pray that God may use you. If you were blessed by this video, please share and spread the message on social media using the share links in this video. Be sure to like and share our videos with your friends and family. Tune in to catch his next sermon on the public channel on AMI-TV or on our live stream on AMITV.com. Keep up with all his latest updates by following him on social media platforms at Elf Lukawa.